in the dazzling world of entertainment, the actor, Sammy Davis Jr., left an indelible mark. Born on December 8, 1925, in Harlem, New York, Davis defied the odds and became a trailblazing star. As a child vaudevillian performer, he honed his skills in dance, song, and comedy, eventually joining the Rat Pack in the late 1950s. Davis's charm and talent shone brightly in films like Ocean's Eleven and Robin and the Seven Hoods, where he shared the screen with fellow Rat Pack members Frank Sinatra and Dean Martin. His charisma was undeniable, and his performances in these films remain classics to this day. But Davis's contributions to the entertainment industry extended far beyond the big screen. He was a talented singer, dancer, and comedian who broke barriers and paved the way for future generations of performers. In 1964, he became the first African-American to star in a major Broadway production, Golden Boy, for which he received critical acclaim. Throughout his career, Davis used his platform to advocate for civil rights and promote equality. He was a tireless activist who fought for justice and equality, both on and off the stage. Despite facing numerous challenges and obstacles throughout his life, Davis remained a consummate professional and a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. He passed away on May 16, 1990, but his legacy lives on through his countless contributions to film, television, music, and theater. Sammy Davis Jr.'s story is one of perseverance, talent, and determination. He turned his dreams into reality and inspired countless others to do the same. His contributions to the entertainment industry will forever be remembered and celebrated. Sammy Davis Jr. was a highly influential actor, singer, and dancer. His career spanned over five decades, and he became known for his extraordinary talent and versatility. Davis starred in movies, performed on stage, and released numerous albums. Do you have a favorite Sammy Davis Jr. moment that has stayed with you? Perhaps it's a particular role he played, or a song he sang that you can't forget. We'd love to hear about it in the comments below. One of Davis's most iconic roles was in the film Ocean's Eleven, where he starred alongside Frank Sinatra and Dean Martin. This film is often considered to have defined his career, but there are so many other memorable performances to choose from. What about you? Which Sammy Davis Jr. work do you believe defined his career? Was it a movie, a TV show, or one of his albums? We'd also love to hear about your most cherished memory or a personal experience related to this classic star. Share your stories and memories in the comments below, and stay tuned because there are many funny, shocking, and sad facts coming up about Sammy Davis Jr. that you won't want to miss. Born in 1925, Sammy Davis Jr., an African-American entertainer, was exposed to show business at a young age. His father, Sammy Davis Sr., was a vaudeville performer, and his mother, Elvira Sanchez, was a dancer. After his parents' divorce, he was raised by his father, and went on to perform with him and the Will Maston Trio. The trio's performances exposed Davis to various aspects of entertainment, including singing, dancing, and comedy. He developed a love for tap dancing, which would become his signature skill. At the age of three, Davis already had his first taste of performing on stage, and by five, he was performing in vaudeville acts. Davis's early exposure to show business and his parents' influence played a significant role in shaping his career. However, he also had mentors who helped him hone his craft. One of his earliest mentors was Will Maston, the leader of the Will Maston Trio. Maston became a father figure to Davis and taught him the ins and outs of show business. Another significant influence on Davis's career was Frank Sinatra. The two met in the early 1950s, and Sinatra became a close friend and mentor to Davis. Sinatra helped Davis break into the world of film and introduced him to other influential figures in the entertainment industry. Davis's career spanned over five decades, and he made significant contributions to the entertainment industry. He broke barriers as a black entertainer, becoming one of the first to achieve mainstream success. His talent and versatility allowed him to excel in various areas of entertainment, including film, television, and music. Despite facing racism and discrimination throughout his career, Davis remained committed to his craft and paved the way for future generations of black entertainers. His influence can still be seen today, and his legacy continues to inspire and entertain. The actor, renowned for his exceptional talent, broke barriers in the film industry during his era and beyond. Born on December 8, 1925, he began his career as a child vaudevillian and became an essential figure in the Rat Pack, a group of popular actors and singers in the 1950s and 1960s. In the film industry, the actor faced significant challenges due to racism and discrimination. 
However, his undeniable talent and charisma allowed him to make a substantial impact. He became the first African-American actor to receive top billing in a major film, Porgy and Bess, in 1959, and the first to win a widely viewed award show. The 1969 Academy Awards. Beyond his acting career, the actor was a talented singer, dancer, and musician. He released numerous albums and performed in sold-out shows around the world. His performances were known for their energy, humor, and impeccable timing. The actor's contributions to Hollywood extend beyond his artistic achievements. He was a vocal advocate for civil rights and used his platform to speak out against discrimination and inequality. He was also a trailblazer for future generations of African-American actors and artists. In conclusion, the actor's influence on the film industry is still felt today. His talent, perseverance, and advocacy for civil rights have left an indelible mark on Hollywood and continue to inspire new generations of artists. From a young age, the actor was captivated by the glamour and excitement of the entertainment world. At the tender age of three, they made their stage debut, tap dancing alongside their father and uncle in the Williams Brothers vaudeville act. This initial exposure to the spotlight ignited a passion that would burn brightly for the rest of their life. Raised in a family deeply entrenched in the entertainment industry, the actor's natural talent and charisma were nurtured and refined. By the age of seven, they were already appearing in films, showcasing their remarkable versatility and precocious skill. It was during this period that the actor's unyielding dedication to his craft began to take shape. A pivotal moment in the actor's journey came when they were gifted a pair of tap shoes by legendary entertainer Bill Bojangles Robinson. This act of generosity and recognition from a respected industry veteran fueled the actor's desire to push the boundaries of his talent and make a lasting impact in the world of entertainment. Throughout their career, the actor would face numerous challenges and setbacks, including racism and discrimination. However, their resilience and unwavering determination allowed them to persevere paving the way for future generations of diverse performers. The actor's passion for his craft was not only fueled by his natural talent and love for the stage, but also by the desire to break down barriers and create opportunities for others. In the end, the actor's creative spark transcended the boundaries of entertainment, leaving behind a legacy that continues to resonate and inspire to this day. Their story serves as a testament to the power of passion, perseverance, and the pursuit of one's dreams, no matter the obstacles that may stand in the way. After portraying Will in the film Robin and the Seven Hoods, the actor admitted to imitating James Cagney, specifically quoting the line come out and take it, you dirty, yellow-bellied rat from the movie Taxi. This line is often misquoted as you dirty rat. Prohibition ended a year later. In the film Robin and the Seven Hoods, the actor sang keep your eye on the sparrow, which gained further popularity when Robert Blake's Beretta character listened to it on his radio, seeming to make up the lyrics as he went along. The following season, the actor performed this song on the show. The actor was also a member of the famous Rat Pack, which included Dean Martin, Frank Sinatra, Peter Lawford, and Joey Bishop. They all appeared together in the film Ocean's Eleven. Despite being born into a show business family, the actor's early life was marked by financial struggles. The actor's father, a vaudeville performer, left the family when he was just three years old, leaving his mother to support them. To make ends meet, his mother became a dancer, and the actor often joined her on stage. As a black performer in the 1930s and 1940s, the actor faced significant industry skepticism. Racial prejudice was rampant, and he often encountered closed doors and limited opportunities. However, the actor refused to let this discourage him. Instead, he honed his skills and developed a wide range of talents, including singing, dancing, and acting. During World War II, the actor served in the United States Army, where he faced further discrimination. Despite these challenges, he remained determined to succeed in show business. After the war, he returned to performing, eventually forming a successful Rat Pack with Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, and others. The actor's resilience and creativity allowed him to overcome numerous obstacles, and make a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. He became a trailblazer for black performers, paving the way for future generations to succeed in show business. After losing his left eye in a car accident, the actor wore an eye patch for a while. However, it was Humphrey Bogart who encouraged him to stop hiding it, saying he didn't want to be known as the kid with the eye patch. The actor had a daughter, Tracy Davis, with his second wife, May. They also adopted two sons, Mark Sidney and Jeff, with the latter named after actor Jeff Chandler. With his third wife, Altavise, he adopted a son named Manny Davis. 
In the film That's Dancing, the actor served as a host, presenting the ballroom duets of Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers, as well as the work of pioneering individualists such as Bill Robinson, Eleanor Powell, and the Nicholas Brothers. However, the film received criticism for its lack of pacing, with five celebrity hosts covering nearly 100 years of dance history. It is believed that the film would have flowed more smoothly with eight hosts instead of five. In 1956, a pivotal moment came for the actor when he starred in the Broadway production of Mr. Wonderful. His performance was highly praised, and the show was a success. This role not only showcased his extraordinary talent, but also solidified his status as a leading man on stage. A few years later, in 1960, the actor demonstrated his versatility by taking on a significant role in the film Ocean's Eleven, where he starred alongside the iconic Rat Pack. His performance was well received, and the film became a classic, further elevating his profile in the film industry. In 1966, the actor released his groundbreaking autobiography, Yes I Can. The story of Sammy Davis Jr., the book was a raw and honest account of his life, which resonated with many. It became a bestseller, earning him critical acclaim and recognition as a talented writer. Later, in 1972, the actor's career reached new heights when he received a Golden Globe nomination for his role in the TV movie, The Special London Bridge Special. His performance was highly praised, and the nomination was a testament to his exceptional talent and hard work. In 1977, the actor's career was marked by another significant achievement when he starred in the Broadway musical Sammy. The show was a hit, and his performance was widely acclaimed, earning him a Drama Desk Award nomination. These breakthrough moments in the actor's career were marked by groundbreaking projects, recognition, and critical acclaim. His peers, critics, and collaborators have often spoken about the impact of these achievements, highlighting his extraordinary talent, versatility, and dedication to his craft. At his wedding to Laurie White, Harry Belafonte served as the actor's best man. The actor, having been educated in the film Johnny Cool, shared the screen with several actors who also appeared in the Rat Pack's heist classic Ocean's Eleven, including Henry Silva, Joey Bishop, and Hank Henry. Peter Lawford, another Rat Packer, served as the film's executive producer and appeared in its theatrical trailer, despite not appearing on screen. A Dean Martin recording even played during the dance scene on the yacht. In addition to his acting career, the actor was a major supporter of the State of Israel. His involvement in Johnny Cool and Ocean's Eleven highlights the interconnected nature of the Rat Pack's careers, with many of them appearing together in multiple films. The actor's support for Israel further demonstrates his wide range of interests and passions outside of his work in entertainment. The actor, Sammy Davis Jr., was known for his unique approach to his work. He had a distinct creative process that set him apart from others. Davis was not just an actor, but also a singer, dancer, and musician, which gave him a diverse perspective. He would often incorporate his musical talents into his acting, creating a unique blend of performing arts. Davis's personal experiences and worldview greatly influenced his work. Growing up as a black Jewish man in America, he faced discrimination and prejudice, which he often addressed in his performances. His struggles and experiences gave him a deep understanding of the human condition, which he conveyed through his characters. In his autobiography, Davis described his approach to acting as being in the moment. He believed in fully immersing himself in a character, becoming the character rather than just playing a role. This approach allowed him to bring a level of authenticity and depth to his performances that was rarely seen in his time. One of Davis's most notable roles was in the film Porgy and Bess, where he played the character of Sport and Life. Despite facing backlash for his portrayal of a stereotypical black character, Davis approached the role with sensitivity and nuance. He brought a level of humanity to the character that challenged racial stereotypes and prejudices. Davis's unique style and approach to acting have left a lasting impact on the industry. His ability to blend different performing arts, his commitment to authenticity, and his willingness to tackle complex and controversial issues have inspired generations of actors and performers. In conclusion, Sammy Davis Jr.'s artistic vision and process were truly unique. His ability to incorporate his diverse talents, personal experiences, and worldview into his acting created a style that was both authentic and captivating. His impact on the industry is still felt today, and his legacy continues to inspire and influence performers around the world. After being honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame for recording in 1960, the actor's career continued to thrive.
Coincidentally, the actor passed away on the same day as Jim Henson. One of the actor's most notable film roles was as Will in the Rat Pack movie Robin and the Seven Hoods. The Rat Pack was a group of entertainers, with the core members being Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, the actor, Peter Lawford, and Joey Bishop. All Rat Pack films featured at least three of these stars in leading roles. Sammy Davis Jr., a trailblazing actor, singer, and dancer, left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. His influence extended beyond his art, breaking barriers and challenging racial prejudices. In the early days of his career, Davis faced significant adversity due to his race. Despite this, he persevered, becoming a prominent figure in the Rat Pack, a group of popular actors and entertainers in the 1950s and 1960s. His charisma and talent were undeniable, and he quickly became a household name. Davis's contributions to film were substantial. He starred in numerous movies, often challenging racial stereotypes and pushing for greater representation. In the film Ocean's Eleven, he shared the screen with fellow Rat Pack members Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, and others, showcasing his comedic timing and singing abilities. As a dancer, Davis was a true innovator. He combined tap, ballet, and jazz to create a unique style that captivated audiences. His performances were energetic and mesmerizing, leaving a lasting impact on the world of dance. Davis's influence extended to future generations of entertainers, actor, and comedian Wayne Brady cites Davis as a significant influence, praising his ability to excel in various forms of entertainment. Brady notes that Davis's talent and versatility were unparalleled, inspiring him to pursue a career in entertainment. Beyond his artistic contributions, Davis was a passionate advocate for civil rights. He used his platform to speak out against discrimination and worked tirelessly to promote equality. His activism was a testament to his character and his unwavering commitment to justice. In conclusion, Sammy Davis Jr.'s impact on the entertainment industry is immeasurable. His talent, versatility, and activism continue to inspire and influence entertainers and activists today. Between 1950 and 1960, the actor's musical director was Morton Stevens, who later became known for composing music for television shows such as Hawaii Five-O and Police Woman. In the late 1980s, Stevens returned to work with the actor, as well as with Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, and Liza Minnelli. The actor was also a grandfather to Sam Garner and Montana Garner. He had a close relationship with Gregory Hines, who regarded him as a mentor and friend. Their bond was an important one, as they shared a passion for dance and performance. Transitioning to the actor's family life, he was a proud grandfather to Sam and Montana Garner. In addition, he had a significant friendship with Gregory Hines, who considered him a mentor and confidant. Their relationship was marked by mutual respect and admiration as they both shared a love for the performing arts. Sammy Davis Jr., a prominent figure in the entertainment industry, led a life that extended beyond the stage and silver screen. He was known for his deep passion for civil rights, which was reflected in his personal and professional life. Born in 1925, Davis faced racial discrimination from a young age, which fueled his commitment to advocating for equality. He was a prominent member of the Rat Pack, a group of entertainers who used their platform to speak out against segregation and discrimination. Davis's philanthropic efforts were extensive, and he was particularly passionate about supporting the cause of civil rights. He was a dedicated supporter of the NBACP and the United Negro College Fund, and he used his platform to raise awareness and funds for these organizations. In addition to his advocacy work, Davis was also a talented musician and dancer. He was known for his ability to play multiple instruments and for his impressive tap dancing skills. These talents were showcased in his performances, which often incorporated elements of social justice and civil rights. Despite facing significant challenges and discrimination throughout his life, Davis remained committed to using his platform for good. He once said, I've got to keep fighting and I've got to keep swinging because I know that I'm fighting for what's right. In this way, Davis's personal values and interests informed his work, both on and off the stage. He used his talents to raise awareness about important social issues and to make a positive impact on the world around him. The childhood idol of director Tim Burton, the actor was considered for the title character in the film Beetlejuice. However, Warner Brothers declined the idea. This was not the only time the actor faced rejection. He, along with the other members of the Rat Pack, were banned from Marilyn Monroe's funeral by Joe DiMaggio. Despite these setbacks, the actor continued to work in the industry and made a name for himself. Unfortunately, 
His success was short-lived as he outlived his father by less than two years. The actor's career and life were filled with both triumphs and struggles, leaving a lasting impact on the film and music industries. Sammy Davis Jr.'s legacy in the acting industry is one of resilience and determination. Despite facing numerous challenges as an African-American actor in a predominantly white industry, he persevered and made a name for himself. His talent and versatility allowed him to excel not only in acting but also in singing and dancing. In the film Porgy and Bess, Davis showcased his singing and acting abilities, leaving a lasting impact on audiences. He also starred in various television shows, including The Judy Garland Show and The Sammy Davis Jr. Show, where he demonstrated his comedic timing and charisma. Davis's contributions to the industry extend beyond his on-screen performances. He was a trailblazer for African-American actors and a strong advocate for civil rights. He used his platform to speak out against discrimination and paved the way for future generations of actors. For aspiring actors, Davis's advice would be to stay true to yourself and never give up. In an industry that can often be challenging and unpredictable, it's essential to remain resilient and persistent. Davis once said, I've been through some terrible times in my life, some of which actually happened. This quote highlights the importance of maintaining a positive attitude and a sense of humor, even in the face of adversity. Additionally, Davis emphasized the importance of versatility and constantly honing one's craft. By being open to new experiences and taking on various roles, actors can expand their skill set and increase their chances of success in the industry. In terms of future contributions, Davis's legacy continues to inspire and influence actors today. By embracing diversity and promoting inclusivity, the acting industry can continue to evolve and thrive. Davis's trailblazing spirit and unwavering determination serve as a reminder of the power of perseverance and the importance of representation in the arts. The actor had a well-documented smoking habit, going through four packs of cigarettes a day. This heavy smoking, along with his confessed indulgence in carousing and reckless gambling, led to the loss of 50 million over the course of 20 years, despite earning 3 million a year. A memorable guest appearance on Rowan and Martin's laugh and introduced a catchphrase that gained significant popularity. The actor paid tribute to Pigmeat Markham, a comedian from the Chitlin circuit, which led to the phrase Here Come the Judge. The phrase became a cultural sensation, inspiring a novelty record an ice cream flavor by Baskin Robbins, and even influencing Pontiac to name a GTO model the judge in 1968, using the same catchphrase in their advertisements. After being born into a show business family, the actor's journey in the entertainment industry began at a young age. Despite facing numerous challenges, including racial discrimination, the actor persevered and became a trailblazer in the industry. Throughout his career, the actor demonstrated his passion and innovation in various forms of entertainment including film, television, and music. He was a talented singer, dancer, and musician, known for his quick wit and charisma. His performances were captivating, leaving audiences in awe of his talent. In the world of film, the actor showcased his versatility in a range of roles, from dramatic to comedic. He starred in classics such as Ocean's Eleven and Porgy and Bess, leaving a lasting impact on the film industry. On television, the actor broke barriers as one of the first African-American stars to have his own variety show. Through his show, he was able to showcase his many talents and bring entertainment to millions of viewers. In addition to his work in film and television, the actor was also a successful recording artist with several hits to his name. He was known for his unique style and ability to seamlessly blend different genres of music. Despite facing numerous obstacles throughout his career, the actor remained committed to his craft and continued to push boundaries. His perseverance and creativity have left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry, inspiring future generations of performers. The actor's journey serves as a powerful reminder of the power of creativity and perseverance. His ability to innovate and adapt in an ever-changing industry is a testament to his passion and dedication. The actor's enduring impact on the entertainment industry is a legacy that will continue to resonate for generations to come. In the film Ocean's Eleven, the actor playing Josh Howard, a member of the Rat Pack, faced challenges. The Rat Pack was not the close-knit group often depicted in legend. Tensions between Peter Lawford and Sinatra, due to Lawford's relationship with Iva Gardner, had to be smoothed over. Dean Martin and Lawford were not on good terms either. Initially, the actor was part of Humphrey Bogart's Rat Pack before Bogie's death and Sinatra's leadership takeover. 
During the 1979 Academy Awards, the actor, who had embraced a significant role in the film industry, showed his warm affection for John Wayne. Despite his small stature, the actor worried about hugging Wayne too hard, a reflection of Wayne's deteriorating health. In Ocean's Eleven, the actor, due to his height, needed wooden blocks attached to the pedals of the garbage truck he drove in the film. His commitment to the role, despite physical limitations, showcased his dedication as a professional. Undoubtedly, the actor left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. With his unforgettable performances in film, television, and theater, he captivated audiences and broke barriers. In the realm of film, the actor showcased his versatility in movies such as Ocean's Eleven and Robin and the Seven Hoods. His charisma and talent resonated through the screen, endearing him to fans of all ages. On television, the actor graced the small screen with his presence in various variety shows and guest appearances. He even had his own show, The Sammy Davis Jr. Show, where he showcased his singing, dancing, and comedic skills. In the world of theater, the actor's talent was undeniable. He starred in numerous Broadway productions, including Mr. Wonderful and Golden Boy, for which he received critical acclaim. The actor's impact on the entertainment industry transcended generations, and will continue to do so. His work will forever be etched in the annals of history as a testament to his enduring talent and legacy. Now, we invite you to share your thoughts on the actor's work and legacy in the comments below. Let us know which of his performances resonated with you the most. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content celebrating the creative spirits shaping entertainment.